Hey guys, so right now I'm gonna show you in some situations how you can simply just trace on a piece of paper your piece of wood and actually figure out the surface. This only hap can happen in so many situations, but for today's, uh, I'll just do it with the piece of wood that I had before. So, taking your piece of wood, you simply just trace around it in kind of an orthogonal fashion and then take a picture of it with your phone and uh, send it to your computer. After that, in Rhino, type in picture frame and bring up the image. Here's mine. So as you can see here, I just took my pencil and just laid my piece of wood down and simply just traced around it, similar to how you would do a turkey with your hand. And I did it from all sides, but I did it in a manner so I know that that's my high side, here's the low, and from the other side, it meets up here, et cetera, et cetera. So right now, what I'm gonna do is actually scale this piece of paper so I can create my surface. So selecting the picture frame, I'm gonna type in scale, and I'm gonna go from my end point here, and I know my piece of wood is eight inches, and I scale it. So now I'm gonna lock it. Right now, I'm just gonna go from end point here and type in eight inches and just draw a line. Next, I'm gonna trace the profile here. For now, you can be pretty kind of casual with how you're doing this, unless your tracing is extremely accurate. And here, I'm gonna do a line that is about 1.5 inches, because that's how thick our two by fours are. Looks like this side was a little short. Move it to the center. And again, just trace it. There we go. And the same for the bottom too. And again, this only can work in some situations. So if you have kind of a convex surface in the middle, it will not work. There we go, everything's traced. So I'm gonna take those lines and just simply move them over here. And basically, I'm gonna start to kinda attach where I know things go. So I know that, that shouldn't be there. And I know that this part goes here. I know here goes here. And next I'm just gonna make sure these two lines here are the same dimension. And I'm just gonna type in bounding box to try to get their overall dimensions there. And I'm just gonna move these together. And I'm gonna scale, scale 1D so they match up in length here. And then these two, I'm gonna do the same as well. Bounding box and a bounding box. So this one seems slightly shorter. I'm gonna to try to just match that up using scale 1D. There we go. Delete out those boxes because we won't need them anymore. And I'm gonna separate these out a little teeny bit. We don't need these anymore. So next, I'm gonna to go to my perspective view find those lines again, and I'm gonna rotate them up to complete my surfaces here. Looking good. Next, I'm gonna put my points together, move it over 1.5 inches, that's how thick the piece of wood is. Let's just take a look at how we did it before. And we're gonna line up. Basically, this line needs to be turned, so we're gonna rotate it in space from here to here. Grab those two lines. Basically, that goes to that end point. I'm gonna rotate this line here to here. And I, oop, we're gonna have to rotate it 180. Did it the wrong way. Basically, that goes there to there. And since we scaled it, obviously it's gonna shrink up a little bit, so we're just gonna do a bounding box again. Take that, scale 1D from the top down to there. 
voila, we have uh, a traced out surface of my original piece of wood. So to complete the surface, instead of a loft, what you're going to use is sweep two. So type in sweep and you'll see a number two by the sides. And first you're going to select the first rail, second rail, and then your in-betweens. Hit OK. There we go. Actually, that's really, really close to the piece of wood I had. So next, I'm just going to extrude this surface down. And I know that was a quarter of an inch down from this point. So I'm going to type in 0.25 to complete the slice. And I'll extrude that line so we can trim it out. there, try to meet it in the middle, and I'm going to select my piece of wood, type in, or hold control, hold shift, and hit S, that's our split, take out the part we don't need, we got an open bottom, and we're going to cap it. There we are. That's the piece of wood I had.